everybody, Gladman here. So we're going to be doing a little bit more advanced stuff today. Uh, we're going to be looking at methods. Uh, believe it or not, we actually have already used them. Uh, when you've called uh, the travel and rotate here, uh, like for the traveling 12 inches and rotating 90 degrees, those are actually methods that we are calling um, on the differential pilot. So what we can do is we can uh, just like this is a class here, we have a class here. So what we can do is we can write our own methods. So um, let's write a method that uh, does what we've got here, traveling 12 inches and rotating 90 degrees. Um, so what we're going to do is underneath uh, the constructor here, uh, I forget which episode that was in, but uh, We've got the constructor there that's called from the main method here, uh, which is the insertion point. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to type public, as we're going to make this a public method, uh, just like the public constructor and the public static void main and the public class, which basically means that anything can use it. We're going to press space, and then we're going to type void. Uh, which means that this method will not return anything. So let's just say you had a complex calculation, let's just say uh, hashing uh, numbers, let's just say. So it takes whatever the string is for the hash and then outputs and returns whatever the hash is. Um, that would be an example of returning something, in which case you would be returning like an int, which would be an integer, a float, which would be a floating point, as we discussed here. Um, but for right now, we're just going to return nothing and or void. Put in another space, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to name the method. So we're going to just call this one travel and rotate. And then um, here's a little bit of naming convention. Uh, methods always start with a lowercase letter, and then to differentiate uh, between the different words, uh, you start each uh, word after that with a capital letter, uh, the starting letter. And you remember never to put in a space here, otherwise uh, that'll confuse the compiler. Um, we're going to do an open parentheses to signify it's a method, uh, similar to how the constructor works. And then we're going to just arrow over, press space, and do a brace and then press enter or return. Now we'll have our method here and what we're going to do is we're just going to take this and we're going to copy or actually we're going to cut uh, which on Windows is control X and on Mac is command X. And now we're going to paste it into this method that we've helpfully named travel and rotate by doing on Windows control V and on Mac command V. So, you can see, it's a little bit lost. It does not know what a pilot is. Uh, as you can see, pilot is not resolved. However, that's due to the fact that we have the differential pilot inside here. It's actually not in this part. But we want to leave it where it's declared in the constructor. And we're going to fix that now. So what we're going to do is we're going to select by clicking and dragging with the left mouse button the differential pilot, pilot, and you're going to do control C on Windows and, or command C on Mac, which will copy. So do that. And then up here above the main method, press enter or return twice and press the up arrow. Then paste with control V on Windows or command V on Mac. And uh, we're going to have that there. Then press the semicolon to end the sentence. And what we've basically done here is we've moved it from being a local variable to the constructor to being a global variable in the entire class. So uh, what we're going to do uh, to prevent some weird glitchiness uh, with this is we're going to delete this part here as we already know that it's a differential pilot because that's what the global variable is declared as. So now uh, when this starts up, it'll have this uh, as a reference there, but not actually set it up 
it will only set it up when we call the uh, constructor here from the main method. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go right under that line and call travel and rotate by just typing that exactly as you had it uh, down here. Never forget to put on the semicolon to end the sentence. And now to the outside observer, it will do exactly the same thing. Uh, why is this useful? Uh, it can be used for a number of things. It can be used for code cleanliness and also for outside classes to call, similar to the travel method and the rotate method. Well, somewhere in there, there's the math to do all of that, and instead of having the user of that have to do all of that math, you just call the method which does the math. So, uh, by not having like the pilot and whatnot, it knows that it's a method in this class, the project class. So, uh, another thing that you can do is you can just call that method again. I'm just typing travel and rotate. So now what it will do is it'll create the pilot called travel and rotate, which does a travel of 12 inches and a rotate of 90 degrees, and then jumps back here and moves on to the next line of code, which is another travel and rotate. So that calls the pilot and travels 12 inches and rotates 90 degrees. Um, I will note that it does not do these at the same time. I believe I had forgotten to mention that. Instead, uh, it waits until that is completed and then moves on to the next line. Uh, so you don't need to worry about things going all funky where it's rotating at the same time that it's moving forward. Um, there is an option for that, uh, but I'm not going to cover that right now. But anyway, that's a basic introduction to how methods work, and we'll be using them in the next episode. See you there. Bye.